And, and sometimes I almost have an accident trying to find out what is that coming down the street. I know what you mean. There's a lot of boogers running around this town dressed funny. It certainly is, and I couldn't something be done about that. Because after all, it's just somebody wants, wants to make money. Uh, what, what would you have done about it? <laughs> Cut you? the whole darn styles out. You mean not let them dress funny? And let them dress like men and not like women. Okay, if it's going to be any law and order in this country, first thing we've got to do is pass a law telling folks how to dress, right? Right. That a girl. Take care of yourself. Okay. 261-9764, and you're on WRNG. <laughs> well, how are you doing? Norman, sadly, how are things at the mortuary, Norman? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, things at the shop is going good. I, I knew you'd. I knew you'd be glad that the people are now getting the flu and dying again, and business is going to pick up for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, winter time is our best time. <laughs> Busy season. But I'll tell you, you know, I'm I'm a little depressed. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound depressed, Norman. Well, this is as depressed as I can get. <laughs> I mean, any more depressed than this, and it's, you know. <laughs> what are you depressed about? Well, I'll tell you, it's a problem I'm hoping you can solve for me. I really... I'll help you, Norman. The thrill is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the thrill is gone? Yeah, the thrill is... I mean, life is just dull. I can't... You know what it is? I think I've done dang near every outrageous thing there is to do, and I can't think of nothing else. Norman, you're not going to get dirty, are you? <laughs> well, I was thinking about that, but you know what? Not even any fun anymore. <laughs> Norman, let me tell you something. There are two women that call my show on a regular basis who are after you. Well, now that might put a little thrill back here, thing. <laughs> Did you hear Shirley calls every week? You know who Shirley is? She's oh, a, yeah. She's the one that writes in the phone booth for a good time called Shirley, and she's got her number, right? Yeah, right, she ain't that good at time. <laughs> she, you were disappointed in Shirley? Yeah, like I say, Ludlow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you ought to take up golf, a pinochle or something. Do you do that with your clothes on? <laughs> you know, Norman, I told you to keep it clean. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're a... I'm on top. you got a real dirty mouth for a mortician. Well, it just got, I don't know. After a while, you know, like I say, you just get... You get hard, Ludlow. <laughs> oh, yeah, to death and everything you mean, don't you? <laughs> Everything. Okay, listen. Did you ever you ever hear from you ever hear from my friend Clyde the drunk? I hear from. Oh yeah, he comes by here. You know, Clyde is now swinging single. Yeah. Since since Midge divorced him. Yeah. And he says he's having a good time. He, maybe you ought to get in touch with him. Well, maybe he maybe he could brighten me up a little. He seems like a carefree devil. Yeah, he is. Listen, before you go, before you go, <laughs> would you? <laughs> Would you, for our listeners who are not, would you give us the motto of your mortuary again? I love it. Oh, I, you know what? That's, that's my one big contribution to the world. Yeah, that's it. That's poetic. What is it again? Yeah. If you fall and they call, we'll haul y'all. <laughs> that's, the, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. It brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? Next time I talk to Clyde, I will ask Clyde if he if he has a place at his, his, his uh, swinging bachelor pad for you. As a matter of fact, the chances are Clyde will call today because Clyde is pretty upset about losing his wife, and he will call Ludlow Psychiatric Clinic of the Air, I'm sure. Yeah, well, I'll, keep, I'll just listen to my radio here. I'm working on a case. <laughs> a case of what? Well, both. I got, I got a case of that, and then I got a, a regular business job here. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself, Norman. Okay, there. Norman Sadley. By golly, he's a character. WRNG. How you doing, Ludlow? Doing fine. Uh, well, I'm upset about is those crazy Falcons. They can't even hold on to the football no more. What do you mean no more? When could they? <laughs> I wish they'd get Ernie Wheel right back. Man, I can send my little brother in there to play a better ball than they can. You wouldn't do that to your little brother, would you? No, but at least I uh, <laughs> might give them some encouragement that they could get somebody who knows how to catch on to a football. Yeah. But it's kind of ridiculous. They're supposed to be professionals. They can't even hold on to the ball. I watch so many games on TV, and it seems like those other guys can hold on to a football, but it seems like these guys here, it seems like they get into their arms, and all of a sudden they drop them. If the Hawks could, if the Hawks could dribble like the Falcons, they'd be in first place. I <laughs> believe so, too, there, Ludlow. Well, Mickey says they are in first place. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well. You believe that? We finally got a team that's in first place. Obviously some mistake. <laughs> 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 Take care of yourself. Okay, then. 
118. You're on WRNG. I got problems. Put them, put them on me. I'm going to solve them for you right here. I got a hope you can. I started out with a broke, uh, with a uh, burnout uh, headlight on the car. Mm -hmm. I went up to the auto parts place to get a headlight. Mm -hmm. I pulled in and I hit something and broke the plastic part on the parking light. Mm -hmm. uh, not the parking light, the signal light. Mm -hmm. Okay, the plastic cover? Yeah. Okay, I went in, I got the headlight. I came back out, they didn't have the plastic part. So I had to go to the Pontiac place to get the plastic part. Right. Okay? I went in there. That part was $12.64. Yeah. A little piece of plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got that part. I came back toward home, stopped at the filling station to get some gas. Mm -hmm. Okay, the mechanic checked under the hood. The holes where the fluid for the tire steering is leaking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's ordering a new hose for that. I came home. And my daughter wanted to use the car. And when she backed out, I saw another pool under there of something else. Yeah. So I got another leak. When I went around to stoop down to look with uh, about the leak, the paint's coming off the side of my car. Mm-hmm. Now that... what can you do for me? All right. Now, you, will, you, will you take my advice? Because you know I would never tell you anything wrong, right? Right. I'll tell you this seriously. I think, I think that you have only... One, one course open to you. It's it's one thirty in after one twenty in afternoon. I would commit suicide about one thirty. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, I think that's the only thing left open for you. You're supposed to make me feel good. Well, I, I'm trying to help you now. Look, look what's happened to you already today. God knows what's going to happen this afternoon. I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> Stick your head in the oven about one thirty. Turn it on. Turn it on. Uh, I, I would think simmer, and uh, and just have at it. I think I'd do it. You're cool. <laughs> No, I would, uh, when, you, when your husband comes in tonight. He's not coming in tonight. Well, he's smarter, uh, smarter than I am. <laughs> uh, well, he's not coming in tonight? I shouldn't have said that. Well, while he's gone, buy a new car. That's a good idea. You come see us. Now you got it. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. 123, Ludlow Psychiatric Clinic is there. If something is bothering you, by golly, here's the place to get it straightened out. 261-9764. Or if you have trouble with numbers, 261-WRNG. Join us. You're on Ring Radio. Hey, Percy. Is that you, Clyde? Yeah, what are you doing on the radio at this time of night? Um, no, it's not night. Please. Well, it's dark. Uh, are the lights out? Are your eyes closed? I'm look. Open your eyes, Clyde. You know what? What? I think I'm in the closet. <laughs> Could be. Open the door and make sure now, because I don't want to leave you in, 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 in a drunken condition. Oh, good heavens. Good heavens. I'm not. I wonder whose apartment this is. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to go. What's the telephone number? Do you, re you recognize the telephone number? Let me, well, let me look on here a minute. Let's see here. I don't know. Well, it, it doesn't make any difference. It's probably a friend of mine. Have you been, I'm sure. Or yours. Have you been listening uh, this morning to the show this afternoon? Well, there's a yesterday? radio on someplace in yeah. here. We just had an old friend of yours called Norman Sadley from down at the mortuary. Yeah, he's a strange dude. <laughs> he is a he is a strange dude. He says the thrill is gone, and he wants to know, can can you can you help him with his uh, with his sexual frustrations? Oh, is that his frustration? <laughs> I, I didn't understand that. Yeah. Well, sure, I can help him with that. You know, because living the kind of a life that I do, I am very well informed about uh, relationships. You're a swinger is what you're trying to say. Yeah. It's I just it's just know. one wild bachelor party after another for you. Well, that's right. And you're happy. Since you've been divorced, you're happy, aren't you? Well, yes, of course. <laughs> I must say, uh, I certainly lead an adventure to life. <clears throat> and you have never looked back since since your divorce, since Midge walked out of your life and married Ralph Raindrop. You've never looked back, have you? No, Percy, that, that's a bygone era. You know, I get accused, I get accused of terrible things. I get accused of making you unhappy here. No, Percy. I, but I... I don't make you unhappy, do I? No, I'm, I'm so happy and I'm having so much fun. And for a matter of fact, I get, a, I get accused of, of reminding you that Midge is gone forever and you're probably never seeing her again and therefore make you happy. Who cares? Who cares? You don't mind. You don't mind that that lovely little 
blonde-haired lady is uh, no longer in your life, and you'll never see her again. When you when you walk in at night, she's never there. She wasn't any fun. No, she and the way she tossed her hair around her shoulders and no. brought you your coffee when you went in at night and your pipe and slippers. That you don't miss her, do you? No, that wasn't. That wasn't anything. The way she made sure that the television was fine-tuned, just the way you like it. That you don't miss that, do you? Well, well, poor Tico. She never did it right. Then the way you used to go for long walks on Sunday afternoon and the warm sunshine with her in a little print dress and uh, oh. her hair popping up and down on the back of her neck. You don't miss that, do you? Oh, gee. <laughs> I told you. I was having the ball. And, and, and the way she used to come in, used to come in and bring you breakfast in bed on Sunday mornings, you don't miss that, do you? Oh, no. I don't need that. I'd rather crawl to the kitchen. That's right, and eat cold oatmeal from the Sunday before. You don't you don't mind not having any hot food, do you? No, boy, I'm having too much fun to worry about. You're a happy man. I'm, I'm, I'm swinging. A lot of booze, a lot of women, you're having a good time. Yes, I am. Nothing can make you unhappy, right? No, nothing, boy, nothing at all. I'm so glad that you found true happiness being a single man, Craig. It's the only life to lead. I know it is, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm having a ball. And I'll tell Norman that, that he's missing all the fun because you're having the happy life. <laughs> yeah, I can show him how to be happy. <laughs> That's right. You know how to be happy, don't you? I do. I do, Borgie. Clive, will you come to see us? <laughs> sure. You take care of yourself. <laughs> Goodbye, Borgie. Goodbye, Clyde. A very, very happy man. Clyde the Drunk. WRNG. Bye-bye. Yes.